so this is clear let's just do one more circuit and move on and uh, wrap up so now we have done five transistor OTA now to increase the gain of this guy what did we do we did cascode so just look at cascode and wrap up today I'll take an NMOS cascode a simple single stage cascode like this okay. assume I have a current source and then I have an NMOS cascode like this that's it this is your output so here you guys know what is the DC gain so what is the DC gain from V out to VI what is the DC gain hmm? uh, be careful with the sign it is minus GM2 the short circuit transconductance is provided only by this fellow what is the output resistance GM4, R04, R02. That's straightforward. You guys know it already. So this is just restating the same thing that you know. Now let's look at quickly poles and zeros. So I'll start with pole. Again, I'll draw the incremental circuit. So the current source is open. This fellow is short. Okay. And for poles, input doesn't matter. So the input is also made zero. Being a voltage, that becomes a short circuit. This is what the equivalent circuit and small signals for pole calculation. And here I have to include the capacitors. So I will include two capacitors CL and let us say some C1. That's it. This will be the only two capacitors because every other terminal is grounded. Okay. Again, let us make the assumption uh, CL is much much greater than Cx. That is something we have to do to make the this is something we have to do so that we can approximate the pole as 1 by r times c right the pole should for a second order system the poles should be far apart and one capacitance must be much much greater than the other capacitance for you to approximate the pole as conductance by capacitance or 1 by r times c right so this is i'll make and i'll assume that the poles are apart right so now let's find it the lowest frequency pole will be due to which capacitor cl first of all how many poles will be there two poles clear so lowest frequency pole will be due to capacitor cl and for finding the resistance due to cl what will i do to c1 to find the pole due to cl what will i do to the other capacitance c1 you open circuit it so what is the resistance looking into cl if i open c1 it's the same cascode impedance you computed fine so I'll just write it as G out times this, where this fellow is one by G out. Let's do the high frequency pole. That's it. Now to find the pole due to high frequency pole will be due to which capacitor now? C one. Now to uh, when you are including the effect of C one. What will I do to CL? CL is short. Is that okay? I mean, again, the same experiment, we are increasing frequency. First, CL will start to deviate from its open circuit behavior. At that frequency, you consider C1 to be still open. Now, we have come to a very high frequency where C1 is starting to drop its magnitude or its impedance. At that frequency, CL, will as CL might as well be a short circuit. Okay. So, which means for this experiment, I am going to short CL. Okay, let me short it nicely. So, what is the resistance looking here? Yeah, approximately 1 by GM4. Again, this I am able to write it because CL is considered to be short. If CL was open, this is an open circuit, what will be the resistance? I mean, that is, if CL is open, what is the resistance looking here? infinite because here it's open circuit okay since i have made an assumption that cl is much much greater than c1 to find the pole due to c1 i am shorting cl that makes the impedance looking up to be 1 by gm4 so the pole is gm4 by c1 that is an important point to note if this assumption is not there then you can't write this way 
so just one last thing so is there a uh, how many zeros will be there in the circuit let's look at this thing hold on let me copy paste this quickly simple thing so this is open so i have two capacitors so how many zeros do you think i might have i mean i if i short cl output is zero if i short c1 will i have output to be zero or non zero i am shorting this fellow this transistor is providing some current in response to the voltage and that current will completely flow to the short circuit no current will reach the output so the output will be so we do we have zeros here so no zeros and we have two poles that's it vgs you say yeah same i mean since this is shorted vgs of m4 is zero so no current flows due to m4 same but it is better to look at it this way because you actually have small signal currents in response to your input voltage right so let's stop here and we'll continue